Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalaya Mal Mahalangam Engineering College, Koyal Vidni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics. So, we are going to study the thermodynamics in Tamil. So, this is chapter number 1, lecture number 1.3. We are going to study about the thermodynamic equilibrium. The content for this lecture, thermodynamic properties, process, cycle, we define thermodynamic property, process cycle, thermodynamic equilibrium and quasi static process. Learning outcome to this lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to distinguish between intensive and extensive properties, explain thermodynamic equilibrium, explain quasi static process. The explain thermodynamic equilibrium, it is an important question. So, sometimes in the part B, if they ask a theory question, uh, this question may appear, explain thermodynamic equilibrium. So, you have to listen carefully and understand. In the previous uh, lecture, we studied about uh, uh, the thermodynamic system. System, energy transfer, mass transfer, if you have a system, the properties, the basic properties, pressure, volume, temperature. In the mood, now on the thermodynamic fundamental properties, pressure, volume, and temperature. If the characteristics and the properties or a definite value, numerical value, that is called a state. The characteristics by which the physical condition of the system described, that is called as property. Pressure, volume, temperature, they are the properties of the system. State, when all the properties of the system have definite value, definite value, the system said to exist in a definite state. Uh, you, you just in the diagram, in the PV diagram, PV diagram, I have point A, point B, point 1, point 2. Point A, the pressure is VA. Pressure is PA, volume is VA. Point B, the pressure is PB, volume is VB. And point 1, pressure is P1, volume is V1. Point 2, pressure is P2, volume is V2. So, this is the state. The property, when the property takes a definite value, the system said to exist in a definite state. So, this is state number 1, state number 2, state number A, state to A, state B. Then change of state. Now look at the line A to B. This is change of state. Initially it is in the state A. Then it goes to the state B. Initially it is in the state 1. It goes to the state 2. Then 2 it goes to the state 1. So change of state. Any operation in which one or more properties of the system changes is called a change of state. There is a change in the pressure, change in the volume. So, there is change in the properties of the system, then it is called a change of state. Then path, what is path? A is initial state, B is the final state. There is a change of state from A to B. There is a change of state from A to B. The line AB is the path. The succession of state passed, passed through during a change of state is called as path or path of the change of state. So, this is the path. Process. So, which causes the change of state? The change of state is caused by the process. So, there is a process which causes the change of state. So, the process is the process is behind the change of state. Then cycle. So, what is cycle? See, this is a process. A is a state. B is a state. A to B is the change of state. A, B is the path. And similarly here, 1 is the state. 2 is the state. 1 to 2 is the change of state. 1 to 2, 1 process. So, this is one process. This is another process. After completion of the process, the property comes to the original value. So, thermodynamic cycle is defined as a series of state. State changes such that the final state is identical with the initial state. So, one. So, from here you start. From here you start. This is the initial state. So, there is a process. It is undergoing a process. It reaches the final state 2. Again, it undergoes another process and reaches the initial state 1. So, this is a cycle. 1 to 2, 1 is a cycle. 
so the fundamental terms of uh, thermodynamics properties state change of state path process and cycle all these things you have to remember then types of thermodynamic properties there are two types of properties one is intensive property another one is extensive property the property which is independent of mass of the system in the system are called as intensive property intensive property are independent of mass how to remember intensive property are independent of mass so mass vachi property maarama irundichiraka that is called as intensive property so mass lana the property undu will not change that is called as intensive property example pressure temperature velocity density so pressure temperature velocity density in the property la undu mass enna va irundhalo evlo mass mass adhigama irundhalo mass kammiya irundhalo the property will have the same value that is called as intensive property independent of the mass extensive property the property which are dependent on the mass in the system are called as extensive property volume energy so it depends on the mass so what the energy you have it is it depends on amount of food you eat so evlo saapidringalo the quantity of food what you are taking based on that your energy level will change so energy depends on the mass then phase so any substance any any quantity of matter homogeneous throughout in chemical composition physical structure is called as phase namakku theriyum ella substance me it is available in three phases solid phase liquid phase and the gaseous phase ella sub any substance it is available in the solid phase liquid phase or the gaseous phase then there are two types of system homogeneous system heterogeneous system a system consists of single phase it is called as homogeneous system a glass of water is a homogeneous system a balloon with the full of air it is a homogeneous system it is only air in the gaseous phase if you have a glass of water it is only water in the liquid phase while the system consists of more than one phase is called as heterogeneous phase so more than one phase for example cement concrete is flowing cement concrete in a pipeline cement concrete is flowing adu venda the wastage the wastage of municipal wastage so it contains solid particle liquid particle so that is example for heterogeneous system so heterogeneous system this the system consisting of more than one phase homogeneous system the system consisting of a single phase that is called the homogeneous phase system then we define thermodynamic equilibrium a system is ex to exist in a state of thermodynamic equilibrium when there when no change in any macroscopic property is registered so we we said a system may have properties like pressure temperature volume when there is no change in the property when there is no change in the property then when there is no change in any of the macroscopic property then it is called as thermodynamic equilibrium so any system should be in thermodynamic thermodynamic equilibrium so that is what we require so any system should be available in thermodynamic thermodynamic equilibrium for thermodynamic analysis a system will be in the state of thermodynamic equilibrium if the condition of the following three types of equilibrium are satisfied mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium thermal equilibrium ninga padichale puriyo mechanical equilibrium no balanced forces so or system vandu it is mechanically balanced mechanical equilibrium abinaaka there is no unbalanced forces chemical equilibrium naaka there is no chemical reaction within the system thermal equilibrium naaka the temperature is constant so temperature is constant within the system then it is called as thermal thermodynamics thermal equilibrium in the moon equilibrium irundichinaaka mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium thermodynamics equilibrium moon equilibrium irundichinaaka then the system is in the thermodynamic equilibrium so thermodynamic equilibrium what is equilibrium when there is no change in any of the micro macroscopic properties so then the system is said to in thermodynamic equilibrium thermodynamic equilibrium enna pananum mechanical equilibrium chemical equilibrium thermal equilibrium idu moonu condition um satisfy aagalum when the condition for any one of the three types of equilibrium are not satisfied the system said to be non equilibrium state 
So, that is called as non-equilibrium state. Then we define quasi static process. So, we take uh, understand try to understand quasi static process. So, this is a piston cylinder. Piston piston freely reciprocate up and down movement. Easier point point oro. There is a weight. And we have the stops. So the weight it is giving downward force. Downward force by the weight. The gas it is there inside the cylinder. There is gas. The gas gives the pressure. The gas is at a particular pressure. It gives upward force. So the upward force given by the gas downward force given by the weight and these two are equal when these two are equal the piston will be at a particular position and this position is one so we we draw the pv diagram so it is state number one now we remove the state remove the weight when they remove the weight so the pressure will be acting so pressure is more so the piston will move upward and it is stopped here when the piston is stopped here, in the end of the upper, Marvadium pressure volume measure pondro. Pressure is P2, volume is P2. So initial pressure P1, initial volume B1, final pressure P2, final volume B1. In between, it is non equilibrium state. That is either dotted line put an ortho, non equilibrium state. So suddenly, weight remove pondam bode, piston tuck ni mela ondro. Tuck ni mela ondro, it becomes non equilibrium process. Now we take the same arrangement. The same piston, same cylinder, same gas, but a single weight. Now we divide into number of weights. So you took look at there are pieces of weight. Again, we have the stop. Now what we do? Instead of remove, so initially it is P1, V1. Instead of removing the entire weight, we remove one by one. First weight. So it is expanding to the second level. Second weight you grow. In the level of the third weighted grow, in your fourth weighted grow, in your fifth weighted grow, in your sixth weight, in your seventh weight, in your last at a combo in your so over so initial first state is equilibrium. This is equilibrium. This is equilibrium. Every point here in the line is equilibrium. Final condition is also equilibrium. When all in your path, in your process, when all the points are equilibrium, when all the points of equilibrium. Then the process is called as quasi static process. The locus of all equilibrium point passed through by a system is known as quasi static process. Quasi means almost. Quasi means almost. Static means we know static that it is not moving. It is it is stand it is there. Stagnant. It is stagnant. That is called as static. Infinite slowness. Infinite slowness. It is very, very, very slow. Infinite slowness is the characteristic feature of the quasi static process. A quasi static process is called as also called as reversible process. So, this is important quasi static process, but practically no process is quasi static process. Practically, no process is quasi static process, no process is reversible process. We stop here. We have three questions intensive property is independent of mass. Next, extensive property dash of mass. You fill the dash. So, if you remember dependent on mass, you are correct. Then, quasi static process is a dash, is a reversible process. Quasi static process is a reversible process. So, based on the lecture, you have to remember and uh, recall the answer. That is what the objective of the reflective or uh, reflection quizzes. I have another question. It is from engineering service examination 14, 2014. Which of the following thermodynamic properties are intensive property? Density, entropy, viscosity. So, the correct answer is 1 and 3. Density and viscosity are intensive properties. So, we stop here. So, thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification. We will meet again in another video lecture on thermodynamics. Until then, bye.